Welcome back. Recently laid off workers are struggling to come up with money to pay rent. To help, Austin and Texas leaders have announced rules over evictions and grace periods to pay rent during this COVID-19 pandemic. Now here to talk about what renters and landlords need to know is Renee Zahn with the Austin Apartment Association. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Renee, it is such a challenging time for everyone, but not all landlords are making it easy for their renters. What is your biggest recommendation for these renters? You know, we are, we're finding that the landlord who's not participating is really the exception and not the rule. And what we would really recommend is communicate, communicate, communicate. We have so many partners with the Texas Department Association that are offering deferral plans and waiving late fees and really wanting to work to keep folks in their homes. So we would just ask that they communicate with their property manager or owner. And Renee, just recently, Austin City Council created a 60 day grace period for laid off workers who can't pay rent right now. How should renters go about discussing this with their landlord? Absolutely, we're quite familiar with that. One thing I will point out is it's not actually a grace period to pay rent. It is, however, a 60 day uh, notice has to be provided in order for an eviction to be proposed. So it's not actually a grace period to pay rent. And so we would just ask again that renters you know, really get with their property managers and talk with them about their, how they've been impacted by the situation. Now, during this time, a lot of apartments are not opening up amenities at this time just due to the coronavirus. Could renters suggest a lower rent? You know, any, any situation that you would like to discuss with your property manager, you are certainly welcome to do. Although I'd like to remind renters as well that, you know, expenses haven't changed because the amenities were closed. Just because they are not available, taxes and utility bills and all of those things haven't changed with them being closed. Okay, now let's swap it up to the other side. How about landlords? What rights do they have to deal with tenants during this time? You know, uh, neither the state nor the local ordinances really protect someone who create who, who produces an imminent danger to the property. So there are still the rights upon the landlord uh, to enforce the lease to its fullest capacity if someone is creating an imminent danger. However, what we're finding is with everyone home, they're really looking to find a sense of community. And we are finding that our residents are coming together more than ever. Okay, Renee, final thoughts. What do you know of Texas policies at this time, such as what are the state eviction policies during this pandemic? Absolutely, very similar to the city. In fact, before the city put their ordinance in place, the Texas Supreme Court had actually already put in place a ban on evictions until April 19th. So very similar statewide as it is to Austin. So once again, if you're able to pay, we suggest that you pay if you've not been impacted. If you have been impacted, communicate with your landlord and so many of them have already put so many plans in place to help with the situation. All right, well, all useful information. Renee Zahn, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.